your ability to think and to process information differently than other people is what's gonna give you an advantage. The reason I did $16 million in 2019, right? 2019, 2020 in, in drop shipping was because I thought about things differently. So when uh, COVID rolled around and masks were like the hot thing and hand sanitizer were the hot thing, all social media platforms got together and banned them on the advertising platforms. Why? Because the I'll margins, the yeah. margins were stupid. People were selling masks for like a hundred bucks, like just price gouging it was disgusting. Mm -hmm. If you had the supply, you just rip correct. It and what did I do? I was like, well, I'm not going to go against terms of service. I'll get all my ad accounts shut down. So what did I do? I thought I was like, hmm, okay, maybe I can't sell it to people, but the fear and kind of the the entire narrative is still in people's minds. Who else is in their home that they extremely love? That isn't a person. They're pets. So I was like, okay, let me redesign uh, sanitation and house cleaning products for pets. And I ran up. The fucking craziest one ads. One extra little touch, one there extra little niche. The same products marketed to a different pocket, to a different audience you in a way. You love your pets, don't you? And the thing <laughs> yeah. is, it's true, right? Because yeah. the products were uh, eco-friendly. Exactly. They were they were bioavailable. Foundational, 100%. Yes, I so they were extremely good. <laughs> so one of my criteria for product research is the product has to work, right? And that's extremely important. Hey, it's kind of rare. Not you cannot sure. scale, because so, I'm not here to do $50,000 on a product, dude. I'm here to do $5 million on a product, $4 million. I had the the 10th or 12th biggest ad in like Facebook history at that point. And I think it had like a quarter quarter billion views in paid traffic. Like I think it was like 100,000 comments. That's impressive. Something really crazy. Scale that high, yeah. So yeah. what I needed to do was make sure that the product was quality and that it was good. But I marketed it the word differently. Of, the word of mouth is literally what pushes it past that essentially. Agreed. And that's what people don't understand about the ad platform is that the ad platform needs to push to virality. If you if your business is only sustained by ads, you're fucked. That's just the test to see you're if people fucked, will dude. spread it organically. Exactly. And so that's why dropshipping, I, I personally, I think dropshipping was the best first business to start because I learned what the steps were. Because I didn't even know that you needed to like make a funnel or run ads or whatever. And so I learned the whole steps, but then it gets really easy to protect your ego and to fall into the trap be like, oh, this ad didn't work. I need to get a different product. So I need to test a hundred products. But it's like, no, you need to test like, every aspect test the ad test the video and just make it better instead of just defaulting to the product or the business model and like giving yourself a cop out i don't think dropshipping is the best thing to start but i do think what it's would the you, best what way would to you learn. say is the best thing to start in your opinion i don't know i i teach future technologies which are not the best to start in the short term like nfts are going to be big in three to five years in my opinion or okay. maybe less so okay back to my AI. question where do you think ai but again ai, AI ar is, arbitrage ai ar arbitrage yeah but you have to still there's you have to know how to hire a developer you still have to know how to market something and so it's like the so, best one to start is just to start something like i think it's a hard like, if you're literally like nothing flipping a selling physical hard skill that you can sell to people in your social network in the first place okay my so first a service video yeah so a service to make enough money and then in your free time start testing and, and I, what store. i would say also bro a is, is get a skill that'll put you into extremely valuable rooms be in make sure that the skill that you're going to get is in high demand that you're the best at what you do and that you're irreplaceable and so get a skill within those three need. criteria i think that that's at a, a high level that 